If you're gonna break into somebody's house, at least make sure that they're not a hog tie the scumbag professional. What's going on YouTube? My name is Lance and today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about why you should never burglarize somebody's house in Oklahoma. Police say Robert Cole was trying to break into a family's house, but instead of calling police, the owner grabbed the burglar and threw his ass out the house. Hog tied him on his front lawn for police and then left for work. Dude, you have to be a badass in order to hog tie somebody and then just leave them on your front lawn. But it's one thing to hog tie somebody and then go off to work, but it's another thing to hog tie somebody and leave them there with your pregnant wife. For me, I think I would have stayed in order to make sure that my family was okay because I mean my wife is nine months pregnant, there's no way I'm gonna leave her with some burglar that's tied up on my front lawn. Unless my wife had a gun and she wasn't scared to use it then that's the only way I would leave. But I can imagine how his I'm off to work speech went. Well, honey, I'm off to work now. Just make sure old uh, John Doe over here doesn't roll around too much. And if he does start to, you know, roll around and squirm and stuff, just just kick him over there by the, uh, the uh, horse manure over there. Love you. The man's wife, Danae Houston, said she heard glass breaking in her daughter's bedroom. This is when Houston's husband went out the front door and waited for the guy to come out. Then bum rushed him like a badass burglar buster. But unfortunately, I think the burglar can possibly press charges in a situation like this. But I would love to see how he would try to press charges over some BS like this in court. Yeah, uh, your honor, I was just trying to break into this young gentleman's uh, house over here. Then this badass just grabbed me, hogtied me, and left me on his front lawn for the police to come and get me. This situation, man him has left me emotionally scarred and I'm gonna be scarred for the rest of my darned life. I mean how am I a working burglar supposed to go out with the confidence of robbing somebody else knowing that this store has been plastered all over the internets. Some people are also bringing up the subject of why didn't the homeowner just shoot the dude? And I can't disagree or agree with that argument. But I do have to say that if there is a chance of eliminating senseless bloodshed, then do it. But at the same time, if you feel that your life is in direct, direct danger and you have a pregnant wife to take care of, then there's just some times in life you've got to do what you got to do. Which leads me to my video question of the day. How would you handle a burglary if you did not have a gun or a knife to take care of the situation with? That's going to do it for me today, guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, most importantly, subscribe. If you'd like to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, those are going to be linked in the description box below. Again, my name is Lance, and I'll catch you guys on the next upload.